could have tied it up first. Um, yeah, this is uh, my old, um, I've made a few in the past, but this is like, this was about two, three stomp boxes ago. So this is like a stomp box, kick drum effect pedal. Uh, I used a bass drum, kick drum mechanism, going onto a nice soft big shopping spongy saddle, which has got a piezo pickup in the sponge. That I managed to, I pushed a knife into it, a hot knife, and then slided the, and then slided in the, um, the pickup into it, and that goes through a wire to an output there. Um, which I run through a compressor to take the edge off it a little bit. Uh, nice heavy thud, put some holes in the base, so I've got a stool that locks into these holes here, so I can sit on the stool and play this, and this won't drift at all. Um, it's been really reliable, actually. It's really good. Uh, a couple of times the springs have come off uh, mid-gig, but, uh, yeah, it's on a normal uh, seat post um, off a bike saddle, into wood, uh, yeah, jack out, through a compressor, through an equaliser, bit of tweaking on the desk and it sounds really nice nice big thud anyway uh the next one i made was this one this is more your traditional style of stomp box this is uh like two inch uh whatever it is studding yeah you get in a house in a wall um i made it this size to put an american number plate on it but it turns out that most of the american number plates i've got are a sort of alloy and the pickup which is in here doesn't magnetize to it there's a humbucker in here a proper um guitar pickup um that's what's got a plate on the back there um with tone control and volume control uh with a jack out somewhere jack out again running through a compressor and through an equalizer and then tweaking on the desk you, you get a nice thud um it had a really nice sign on here saying don't panic or, or whatever something like that but i found your shoes if you're wearing like soft soled plimp soles or trainers the soles stuck to the metal a little bit so you've got like a double after effect you've got the boom of the bass and then you've got like a boom, 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 as they as this sort of rubber come away from the metal which is a bit annoying so i put the velcro on there to stop my shoes from sticking so it's lost its look now but it still does a, it's, it's got a nice tone to it but uh anyway uh that makes me stand funny because it's slightly too high the other foot's lower you stand on a bit of a, uh, an angle anyway this weekend this happened for two pound a boot sale, it's an e-drum based kick trigger or hi-hat trigger, I guess. Um, I brought it initially to put a tambourine on this bit. I was gonna use it just for playing tambourine sitting down. Um, but it has got an output on it somewhere there. A uh, little bit of electronics inside, which I wasn't sure what that was, but just a switch. Um, you can hear, you can hear a trigger in there. Um, it's got an output on it. Anyway, um, so I was gonna make that into a tambourine pedal well this turned up yesterday three pound a boot so that's a kid's drum kit electric drum kit it's some really nice sounds on it it's got like nine different kits e like uh hip-hop style rock style uh standard jazz jazz style all these different um rhythms and stuff not rhythms but different uh drum kit sounds uh it's got record it's got volume it's got style on it that's the style there's nine different styles i think uh demo you can record yourself you play it back um rhythms to play along to Start, stop, tempo, speed up and speed down. Um, basic kit, I think, they're about, I think they're about 45 quid brand new. Um, I tested this out, this all works really well. It sounds really nice through the mixer. Um, but then I had uh, the uh, idea of um, seeing it's got, a, it's got a foot pedal input. And it's also got the head output. See, so I can put the head output into the mixer. Um, the trigger in goes through that foot pedal. So the trigger in goes in there, trigger out goes from the other pedal that I brought on the Saturday. So I've got this uh, pedal here on the Saturday. Um, I've got this wire here, which plugs into... That's it, so I need to get a new jack lead. Um, this jack lead is a bit tough, but... so um yeah so that works through there um then i took this thing apart um found out this was connected via a ribbon cable so i just undid it all pulled the cable out um so this bit's going to go in the bin i'm left with the brain part and this part so now i've got a really consistent bass a drum kick drum pedal thing uh i was going to buy the roland spd um, about 200 quid. Um, this setup's cost me a fiver. 
So I'm quite happy with that, I think. Yes, I am. <laughs>